I'm going to take a short break and share with you a recap of our CEO and founder, Pastor Jimmy Sonny Washington, his latest episode of Truth to Power Live. So check out this uh, check out this ad, ladies and gentlemen, and make sure you subscribe to it. Here we go. This is Bishop Patrick Wooden in Raleigh, North Carolina. He is talking about how the federal government came to him and basically threatened him because his politics are wrong. I am high profile and the IRS, the government, watches me. They came to see me, sent agents to see me, and we met in the suite. I had to get an attorney. They were quite belligerent in their address of yours truly. So I finally asked them, what did I say that was so wrong? And the brother who was on the team yelled out to me with a high voice, you said Kamala Harris is bad for black people and you can't say that. I said, is that what this is all about? I said, well, what if I told the truth? You still can't say it. They said, we are here to revoke your nonprofit status. And we want to go back and look at every offering the church raised from the day you made that statement up until this current time and tax you for that too. I want to say to my friends in ministry on the other side, you got it made. Because on the other side, you can invite the politicians you like to your church. B-roll of Biden in someone's and church. I saw life. one the other day. The man invited uh, the person he wanted and, and, and preached him. Biden is coming back. Church in Philadelphia. He's a comeback kid. He's a fighter. He's a champion. You can say anything you want on the other side. And you don't get a visit for Kamala Harris. You don't get harassed with churches. You don't get anything. Kamala Harris had another church preaching. I want you to consider what would happen, for example, for all of us pro-Israel folk on the left and right side of the aisle. If it then became frowned upon by a regime in power for a pastor to stand before the people in the pulpit and talking about our standing with Israel and the Jewish people, what if the federal government decides that's no longer allowed. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. That means if you think it's conspiracy that it's not already happening with other issues, then you're not dealing in reality. Truth to Power Live with Jimmy Sally Washington. <laughs> two groups of deniers, right? Two groups of people who don't want to see or, or can't see what's going on. You have those who really have been sufficiently compromised psychologically. They have been beaten into submission mentally long enough to, they they will censor themselves. The government doesn't have to worry about them because they have in their brains a list of things that they know they can and can't say. So they know, you know, they're the ones who will make all this noise about something until they find out that, oh, the perpetrator was this color and the victim was that color. Oops, sorry, can't say anything of the white power structure that are right those are the people that you, you don't have to worry about them but then you have those people who see what's going on and they actually might agree that it's harsh but they can't see past their own hatred so because let's say for instance they hate christians they'll say good those christians need to be taxed and churches need to be and they can't just be doing that you go okay does it ever occur to you that if the government has that power then the government will have that power meaning if someone else is in power who doesn't believe like the last president believed or who doesn't have the same proclivities as the last administration that they could do it to you can we look past our own bitterness for two seconds and say you know what i may not like this group of people but it's not fair and it's actually a a scary precedent that's being set that that's happening to them right um Yeah, there's so many applications that can be made to that. But that's that's something that really needs to be dealt with, that we, we need to have the maturity to look at something. And even if the person that is happening to is someone that we don't like to say, you know what, but it's not right that it's happening to that person, period. So now watching that clip, I go, Bishop Wooden, he said, you you pass it on the end, you guys have it made. And that's absolutely true. I've I've been to churches where pastors were very much just we we don't like Republicans. You know, we don't like Trump. And 
and everyone yeah that's right get them yeah yeah and then people what they do is they make exceptions because they think this person's a really really bad person we can kind of blur the lines here for that right no we can't that's the whole point like so if you're saying it's okay for a pastor to from the pulpit bash trump okay that's his right to do that but then you can't be giddy and happy and jumping over down when a pastor gets punished for bashing biden comma right it's politics is politics if you don't think a pastor should bring politics to the pulpit then that means they shouldn't bring politics to the pulpit if you think that it's okay which i'm one of those people that thinks that it's how can you be a pastor and not the bible is a political book it's very political you're supposed to be in the the, the issues of the day right but if you're someone who doesn't believe that then you need to be consistent and say okay no yes i might agree with what he's saying you know from the pulpit but he shouldn't be saying that don't don't yay jump up and down and clap and then get and then get even happier when he gets punished for saying calm was bad for black people. Do you see how that, if the government can cross those lines, we have to have the maturity to say, okay, even though I don't like this person for whom this line was crossed, this line was still crossed and that's wrong. And I'm gonna speak out about it. Not, yeah, that's right, it's what they get. Yeah.